How you doing guys, Big Mac Dance Call here again today, back once again with another Conquest video for you. Today is my second showcase video, and this one is all about the three Death Guard miniatures you can see on the turntable in front of you. So these are the three easy to build Death Guard miniatures that came in issue two of Conquest. And um, I guess I've better talk you through the colours I used and the techniques I used to paint them, eh? Um, so first off, the armour, um, I painted in Rakarth Flash, Now I painted that straight onto the green plastic as it's, oh no, sorry, um, I painted the Death Guard green onto the green plastic first of all because I wasn't sure of the colour scheme I was going to use. Then I painted the Rakarth Flash straight over the top of the Death Guard green that was previously the main colour on the plastic. Um, so there's no chipping issues so far or anything like that. So if you were wondering how these miniatures are, are getting on, I've not used them to game with an awful lot. I've just uh, done a quick test game and that. Um, but yeah, uh, there's there's no chipping issues as far as, that, as far as I can see so far. Um, but on Death Guard miniatures, it's not the end of the world if there's chipping issues because they're supposed to, you know, not really look after their armor that much. Anyway, back to the color scheme. So Rakarth Flash is the main color on the armor, but then I did a dry brush of Screaming Skull. Um, the antlers and um, the grenade handles and parts of leather on the guns and stuff. Um, they were painted using dryad bark. Um, the black, um, it's various blacks to be honest. Some of the black is a black undercoat that, um, I don't know where I've got this paint from, but it's a Citadel black undercoat. It must have come in an eBay purchase I made or something like that because I've never actually bought it myself. Um, so it's a brush on undercoat. Um, I used that, I used uh, Vallejo uh, Model Air Black probably, and uh, potentially some Abaddon Black as well on there. Um, that's on like the bolt guns you can see and, and any weapons and grenades and stuff like that. You can see bits of black areas there. Um, the metal work, so you're looking at like chain mail, certain parts of the guns, and uh, all the silver metal work is all bolt gun metal uh, with a wash of Agrax shade to dirty it up a bit. Um, the bronze or brass metal work, I never know which is bronze and which is brass, but uh, the armour trim basically. That's all Screaming Bell um, and that's got to dull it down a bit, dull down the shine on it. Um, I used an Agrax Shade wash and then on the shoulder pads uh, you can see there's Death Guard Green and also on the uh, tentacles of the, a couple of the miniatures as well. Uh, I used Death Guard Green on those tentacles as well, just to keep it really simple, the colour scheme. Um, the eye lenses um, were painted on the one with the tube coming from his face, um, and also the um, yeah the eye lens of the guy with the, the grill on his face, on his mask. Um, they were painted using Spirit Stone Red over the Screaming, screaming Bell. Um, what else have we got? The pustules, the orange pustules, were painted using Fire, fire Dragon Bright. Uh, it's watered down Fire Dragon Bright, and then um, a, any like Agrax Hershey wash over there to to sort of dull it down a touch. And um, I also used a Thonian Camo Shade as a second wash on there. I used it on the flesh of the one guy that you can see in the centre of the screen now, um, just to to make him look a bit more nurgly. Um, and I used uh, Bleached Bone, which is a really old Citadel paint. I used that on some of the schools as well, uh, just to sort of make them look slightly different to the rest of the armour. Uh, the schools on the shoulder pad of this guy that's in the centre now, um, with no helmet and the teeth and stuff, and on his power fist there as well. Uh, so I used Bleached Bone, and it's, it's kind of similar to um, Wraith Bone, I'd say, in colour. Um, but that's all the colours I used on these guys, oh, apart from the basin, of course, which I used the techniques that come in uh, the Conquest magazine. Um, we've had a basin tutorial, so it's an Astro Granite base paint, um, and then it was a wash of Atonian camo shade, and then I think it was uh, an Ogryn camo dry brush, if I remember rightly. And then the rim of the base, I could do with another layer on the rim of the base, actually, they're looking a little bit patchy. Well, that's just your standard steel legion drab base rim there um so yeah that's pretty much all the colors i've used on these miniatures and um i've got these were painted using traditional um base painting washing layer painting methods 
and um, the rest of my miniatures for the Death Guard and for the Imperial Fists are going to be painted using contrast paints. So um, when I show you uh, the next lot of power armored miniatures, I'll um, compare these ones to them in the, in that video for you. So uh, yeah, I'll leave it there for now, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.